Today I'll walk you through how to add custom after post widgets in WordPress. This is perfect to let you display different elements at the end of a blog post or a page. For instance, you can add a newsletter, sign up, show related posts, display recent articles and popular products and more. I'll show you two different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. The first method is by installing a plugin. The plugin is a little limiting, but if you're just wanting to get something going with an after post widget, then this will work for you. So the first thing we want to do is head over to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to plugins, add new, and we're searching for something called add widget after content plugin. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now and stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Now that we see that it's activated here, we can go to appearance. We'll go to widgets. Under widgets, you'll see a new area called after content. And this is what we, where we can add our content for after the blog posts. So I can click on the plus sign and from here, you can just add whatever you want. If you wanted people to look at other articles or other posts of yours, you could add latest posts. And from here, you can choose how you want this to look by changing all the display information. Then we can click update and then we can see this in action. And so now on a post that is on my site, so when I scroll down at the bottom, you see after the post content, now I have related blog posts. This is a perfect way to get them to watch or read other blog posts that I have. Now, if you wanted to, you could stack multiple widgets. So if you wanted to do recent posts, if you also have a contact form under here, you could do that as well. Just be mindful that the more you do add, the less effective each one will be. There are also some limitations to what the content will look like. For instance, this is taking on the theme. So if you wanted to change it, you would have to go into customize to make some adjustments. So we could go into our additional CSS. I could add this bit of code and we'll have this in our written tutorial if you want to take a look. And if I pay, paste that in when we scroll down and you see we could change this up a little bit. So you definitely want to make some adjustments, but then you can make it stand out even more. Now, by default, the plugin will show after post widget on all of your posts and pages. But you can also choose to hide them or show them. So let's go back to our dashboard and I'll show you what this looks like. Under appearance content, this is where you can make some adjustments. So this is where you can choose where to show it. If you want to do specific categories, you can do that as well. Once we save changes, then it will only show on the categories, the tutorial and only on the posts. Now that way is pretty cool, but there are some limitations. Like you don't have any control over what it looks like exactly, unless you know CSS, you also don't have exactly any control over where exactly to put it. And that's where the next method comes in. I'll show you how to use it using OptiMonster. With the OptiMonster, you can actually choose where to put it. You can put it before the blog post. You can put it after the blog post. You can even decide to put it a few paragraphs within the blog post. Plus with OptiMonster, you can do other things like exit intent pop-ups as well as loading navigation bar and so much more. Plus, if you do it this way, you can get started with OptiMonster for free. So what you want to do is go to plugins, add new, and then you want to search for OptiMonster. You, from here, you can click install now and then also activate the plugin. Once you install it, you can claim your free account, go through the whole process, and then you have an active account and then we can go to the next step. Once you create an account, you can come down here to campaigns so you can create your first campaign and click add new. From here, you can choose the campaign type. And this is what I was talking about where you can do a pop up, floating bar, full screen. The one we want to do is the inline, and that means it'll go wherever we put it on each of the blog posts. And then down here, there are several templates to choose from, and this gives you an idea of what it will look like. So from here, we can just pick one and then move on to the next step. I'll use this template. You want to give it a name and click start building. And from here, we can make all of the changes that we want. Simply click and then start editing however you want. And then if you go to the home page, you'll also see all of these blocks that you can also add to make it even better. Once you've designed everything, you can come up here and click publish. And we want to publish this to make it go live on our site. We can also just click save to make sure everything is good to go. And then we can exit out of here and it will take us back to the output settings here 
or we could choose how to put it or where to put it. You can manually put, put it somewhere. So you could copy this information and put it on just the blog post that you want. But let's go ahead and do automatic and then we can configure this. And this is what I was talking about with the power of this. You can do it below the post. So after the post, you can do it above the post before they even get into the content. Or you can even choose to put it after so many paragraphs. If you know that people go down to a certain point on a particular article, then put it right after that. So it's very powerful. But for this one, we're going to do below post. Everything else looks good. Over on the right, you could also choose who all gets to see this. We want all visitors. And then let's go ahead and say it's published. And let's go ahead and save changes. And now scrolling down to the bottom of one of my posts, you see that we have it at the bottom after the blog post. If you want to learn how to create a contact form pop-up, watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to create a contact form pop-up using WordPress and OptiMonster. And I'll see you over there.